Hello, my name is Holly Serba. I'm a STEM librarian here at UNM. Hello, I'm Todd Quinn. I'm a business and economics librarian and an associate professor. Hi, my name is Glenn Colling. I am a learning services librarian here at the main campus in Albuquerque. So if you do a search for adhesive and plants, you're gonna get a lot of results that are about glue that's made out of plants, but I needed to help an agricultural researcher find glue for sticking stuff to plants. One of the more interesting questions recently was a student was working on how uh, to sell a product and it's dealing with water evaporation um, for water authorities. It's something I would never have thought of. So the weirdest request, um, and maybe the hardest request too, was someone wanted to know how much human hair India exports annually. So I don't sit at a research help desk anymore in my current role, but I always remember from when I did, people would come up and they would say, oh, I'm sorry to bother you. And then they would ask whatever they needed, but you're not bothering me. People have the stereotype that um, you tell people to be quiet, we shelf books and we read all day. That is not my job at all. My job is to helping students and faculty with research, finding literature, finding data, finding other people, and making connections for them. So a lot of people think that librarians um, get to read all day at work, but in my experience, I don't get to read that much at work. So I love, love, love this book called I Hated, Hated This Movie. It's a collection of the most negative reviews by film critic Roger Ebert. I grew up watching Ebert on television and I've read a lot of his writing both on film and on other topics. His memoir is actually very eloquent and completely wonderful as well. Uh, but this is just so uh, fun and witty and cranky in the best possible way. One of my favorite books over the last couple of years is a book called The Warmth of Other Suns. And it tells the story of the great migration of African Americans from the South to the rest of the country. And uh, the author, she highlights five people throughout the whole book. And it was really um, educational, one that's well written, but it was educational. And I, I learned a lot while reading that book um, about how things are today as well. My favorite book is The Blue Sword by Robin McKinley. Um, and I'm just a big YA fantasy fan, and I've read it for a long time. It's a you know, comfort read. A man walks into a library and he asks, where are the books on paranoia? And the librarian whispers, they're right behind you. I used to hang out with Dr. Ed all, but she was a name dropper. What do you call a witch librarian? What? A sorceress. Definitely one-on-one -on -one consultations with students. I just love getting to meet with them and chat with them and find out what they need. Favorite part of my job is working with students and faculty. Um, you know, they have a lot of interesting questions, a lot of interesting projects, and it's helping them investigate that kind of content or supporting them in their content. My favorite part of my job is getting to work with all of the students. It really is the highlight. Hello, I'm Leo Lowe. Dean of the College of University Libraries and Learning Sciences. Our mission here is to advance learning, scholarship and intellectual discovery. And to do that, we offer our expertise, services, our collections, spaces, technologies. And the most important thing of all, our people, our dedicated faculty and staff, who have been through a lot in the last two years. But they're still here, serving our students, our community, with a smile on their face. In honor of National Library Week, let's recognize the hardworking library professionals. Please consider showing your appreciation of our faculty and staff by donating today. We often say, while nobody graduates from the library, nobody graduates without it.